You guys, today I'm going to show you how to freeze cheese and how to avoid the biggest mistake when freezing cheese, which means it becomes a block. Check this out. Welcome to another how to freeze video where we're making our food last as long as possible. And today I'm going to show you how to freeze cheese the right way so you don't get this. Okay guys, so if you wanna know, can you freeze these single wrapped cheese slices? The answer is, I heard you can, but they do change when you thaw them out. So I don't recommend it. Plus they last forever. So I don't really know why you wanna freeze these. Um, but cheese sticks, however, I always keep these in the freezer. I actually have another video on this channel showing you why I freeze them to pack them in a school lunch so that they don't get all mushy at lunchtime. So freezing these is a really great idea. The other cheese that I freeze, these are actually goat cheese balls. I take goat cheese and I make it into balls and I freeze it. Or you could also freeze an entire goat cheese um, log and then thaw out and reuse any way you would. Um, this is sliced fresh mozzarella cheese that I've also frozen um, to use for pizzas. The biggest mistake, one of them, is that now they are all frozen into a block because I didn't lay them out on a parchment paper or on a sheet pan, froze them first, and then threw them in the bag. So if you're just gonna throw a bunch of cheese in a bag and freeze it, you better use it all at once because you're gonna have a big block of cheese slices. Another cheese that is great to freeze is your shredded cheddar cheese or any of these shredded cheeses. They freeze great, you can use them, but I don't recommend freezing them in a large bag. I'm about to show you the biggest mistake with freezing shredded cheese, but um, this shredded cheese is not just cheese. It does have added potato starch and powder cellulose to prevent caking, which is great also for freezing, so it doesn't stick together like 100% mozzarella. So this will freeze great. Now, the other cheese that you can freeze is your block of cheese. Um, I bought a one pound block. This for me is like two pizza nights. So what I typically do is I cut this in half, wrap it or stick it in a zip, in a zip bag and freeze it. Um, so you can definitely freeze blocks of cheese um, entirely but the thing is is that before you go out to the store and hoard cheese like I just bought this and it's best used by August and we're in March so it can stay in your fridge for a very long time now if you're trying to conserve fridge space that's a different story now sliced cheese cheese that you've bought already sliced for sandwiches like this one you cannot freeze it just like this because you will get a block of frozen slices. So if you want it to freeze this, you need to lay out each slice on a parchment paper or a silicone mat, freeze it like that, and then transfer them to a zip bag. But before you go out and freak out about, let me stock up on cheese and freeze it, make sure you check the expiration date. Most cheese will always have about three or six months past the date of purchase. So check that out. Other helpful how to freeze videos if you're just trying to stock up your fridge and make sure your food lasts longer are on this channel and at the end of this video. You can also check the description box below with easy cheesy recipes. And while you're down there, click that red button. A new video comes out every single week. Sometimes too, if I'm quarantined. See you soon. Just try it again. Are you losing brain cells being quarantined? <laughs>Like many of you, I'm quarantined in my house and I'm gonna show you what my husband's doing while I'm trying to film a video. We've been here for a couple of weeks now. So that's why it's kind of loud while I've been trying to film and my amazing assistant over there is earning her keep. Wait, we're gonna get in front of 